Okay, so new mission this week, and that's to find the best coffee shops in Belfast. Um, started off my morning in Espresso Elements on the Lisburn Road. Lovely little coffee shop, really cosy. Has lovely wee seats for the children, which is great. Um, so you can sit in a wee small cute seat as well. But what's really special about here is they actually import Italian pastries direct from Italy, cannellonis, parquets. So, oh my goodness, the choice is just unbelievable. Kim, the barista here as well, is actually an award-winning latte artist. She has created a beautiful mocha with a little teddy bear on it. So you can imagine the kids' faces if you bring them in here and show them the coffee art. So really need my first sip of coffee for the morning. Keep me going, although I'll probably be buzzing by the end of the day. Brilliant little place and staff, so great and so friendly. have just ordered a cappuccino, really nice coffee shop, um, very spacious, really really good for if you're here with a big group or a family, um, staff are really friendly and they have some delicious desserts, although I'm uh, holding off on the desserts um, for later on, so I'll just try my cappuccino and let you know what it tastes like. It's a really good strong coffee for first thing in the morning, so um, I'm going to enjoy this before I have to move on. Hi guys, I'm Richard, welcome to The Pocket. We are a specialty coffee shop based in University Road in Belfast, opposite Queen's University, main Lanyon building. We specialize in single origin, high quality coffee. Uh, all of our baked goods are uh, made in house and we also have a unique, interesting brunch menu which changes from week to week as well. So let's make some coffee. We have BFE who is our main roaster and we always have a guest at the moment. Our guest is called Kopi from Sweden, but again, that changes all the time as well. So we really just love our coffee here. It's a great hobby to have. We love our espresso. So just outside um, the Pockets coffee shop on University Street and look at my backdrop is Queen's University so that's what you'll see if you're relaxing at the window in this coffee shop. Really really chilled out, boutique shop, really cosy and um, everything's homemade. Definitely one that should be on your list so I think I'm going to enjoy my cup of tea after uh, coffee overload um, and see what's next. So just heading to Cocature, which specialises in chocolate and hot chocolate. It's raining outside, so definitely time to come in and get warmed up. So I'm very excited, can't wait. So I'm just with Tommy here in Cocature. I've just had one of their delicious hot chocolates delivered. Um, and actually, Tommy's going to tell me a lot about their chocolate because there's just so much in here to look at, you wouldn't know what to choose. So I'll leave it over to you, the expert. So I can't wait to find out about why this is so exciting. Yeah, well, this is uh, this is our, you're having our 70% uh, hot chocolate mix. We also do a 60% chocolate mix, which we are going to um, aim towards the American market. Oh, wow. Um, they do like their, their hot chocolate a little bit sweeter, but um, our 70% and also our 85%, both finished in the top 10 in the world uh, in this year's Academy of Chocolate Awards. Oh, wow. So that puts them, yeah, they both they both won, won bronze medals. Um, so that gives us yeah, two of the top 10 in the world, including this one. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty special. Oh my goodness, well, I'm gonna try it and then 
I'm going to ask you the ultimate question, and that is, how do you make the ultimate hot chocolate? So let's try it first, and then we'll we'll find out. Cheers. Cheers. Just try, I'm just trying to think about words to describe it. <laughs> That's all. It's it's amazing. I can see why it is award winning. It's I actually don't think I've ever tasted anything like it before. Yeah. It, That's what we're going for. Yeah. I'll, I'll have to have another try just in case so that we get that first taste right. <laughs> Words can't to describe it. Just can't. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. The instructions are all on the back, but just in case. So you mean I can actually make this at home? You can indeed. <gasps> We sell it by you the bag. Have told and me that. <laughs> this is this is how we do it. So it's just 110 grams of milk. We use whole milk, full fat milk, but you can also use almond milk, oat milk, um, or water if you really like. But we no, find we have that to get the full effect. Get the full effect yeah. I'm watching this very very closely because the fact that I can recreate that at home. There we go. 110 of milk. 22 of hot chocolate. And that's it. We use a coffee machine because we have our little steamer that we can boil it with. But at home you can use a saucepan, a microwave, whatever hand so is. Just boil it up at home. We just boil it. Oh. And that's the key. Whenever you normally if you boil milk, you'll you'll think you'll burn it. Yes. But because you're using the hot chocolate mix, the cocoa butter actually protects the milk, stops it from boiling. Oh. And that's how you get that creamy consistency and flavour. Oh wow. So I will show you. as well you just get oh, it's amazing. there you go wow that is just amazing so can I just smell it you sure can oh, it's so good sorry <laughs> Voila. And it is award winning hot chocolate, I can vouch for that. And I would be a hot chocolate connoisseur, I have to say. Well, there but you go. I actually the connoisseur think. Connoisseur's choice. I probably shouldn't say this, but this is definitely the best I've ever tasted. So it's, it's a, a stamp of approval. <laughs> Thanks so much. Dear, thank you. So I'm going to take five minutes to just sit and savour this hot chocolate and then on to the next place, although I don't really want to leave. sat down the French village which is actually a patisserie um, on the Lisburn Road really lovely coffee shop and desserts that look absolutely beautiful almost too good to eat but I think I might be able to just force myself as I just said when you can't decide have both I think this is a chocolate mousse and a lovely strawberry and chocolate slice gâteau with a oh, I think it's maybe raspberry actually rather than strawberry and a nice cappuccino with a tulip leaf, leaf design so don't make, mean to make you all jealous but let's dig in perfect balance of chocolate and fruit lovely really really nice So nice, I think I should have another bit. Mm -hmm. 
So just in Cafe O in Botanic Avenue, um, Nordic themed cafe, um, owners spent a lot of time in Copenhagen and then decided to bring a little bit of Copenhagen to Belfast. Um, beans are all roasted in Copenhagen and shipped here once a week. So they get a big massive order once a week in big sacks and I uh, was talking to one of the breezes and they said that they actually bring the sacks all up two flights of stairs. So this is um, not only all the way from Copenhagen, but a lot of hard work goes into this coffee. Really well known for its really good, strong speciality coffee. So one last thing to do is to try it. Mm, it's a really good, strong coffee. Loads of different lovely flavors coming through. So just in Bowdoin Park Coffee on the Ormer Road, well known for the fact that they roast their own coffee beans. So have a wee coffee here, which I'm going to enjoy, and then Orla's going to tell me all about how they roast their beans, how they source them, and the process that they go through. So really looking forward to it. Hi, I'm Orla from Bowdoin Park Coffee Company at the Ormer Bakery in the Ormer Road. We have been open for just over four years. Me and my father opened up in 2013 after I had spent 10 years working in fashion. So decided to, for on a new career in something that I've always been really passionate about. We recently opened our own roastery, which is situated in South Belfast as well. And we import green beans from a number of different countries and roast them ourselves. This gives us a more intimate relationship with the coffee that we serve and then we're learning more about our roasting profiles, about how we serve the coffee, and then we can educate our staff and our customers and give them consistently a better quality coffee. We are open seven days a week and we offer all day brunch, homemade tri bakes, cakes, salads, sandwiches, and obviously our freshly roasted coffee. So we hope to see you really soon to try our goods. Thank you. Hi, I'm Cara from Cafe Mods and today I'm going to be showing you how we make our Kinder Bueno crepe. So we pour the crepe mix onto the crepe plate. So we'll let it cook on that side for about a minute and a half and then we'll flip it over and start filling it. So we flip it over, first we'll put in our Nutella, and our Kinder Bueno pieces. And then a good handful of our white chocolate buttons. So I'm only filling half of the crepe, so it's easier then to flip it over. You can also get um, Maud's ice cream with your crepes. Um, so I'll put some Pooh Bear on it. And that just goes on the side of the plate. So it should be ready now to flip over. straight onto the plate and a nice dusting of ice and sugar and that's it.
competition to find the best coffee shops, stroke cafes in Belfast. Justin Cafe Mods on the Lisburn Road and oh my goodness, the choice is just unbelievable. Apart from doing all the usual drinks um, that a coffee shop serves, this place is a place to go if you're looking for desserts. Not only does it serve Mods ice cream, but it does waffles, crepes, which I've just tasted absolutely out of this world. But what I'm really excited to try is a new range which they're launching, which is a Mods ice lolly or ice cream lolly. Um, what's the exciting part about it is that you can totally customise it for your own toppings and sauces and I have made my creation, well not actually made it but I've had it made for me so I'm about to try the very first bite, I know this is only launching so it's something really new so definitely I'm very excited to try it so let's go. Well, the perfect end to a perfect day.